Hi, this is Demetria with Homes by Demetria. So today we're going to talk about the different kinds of mortgages. But before I do that, a million disclaimers. I'm not a financial analyst, a financial planner. I'm not a mortgage broker. I'm not basically anything. This is just information for you. Research it. Look it up on your own. I don't want to take any responsibility for any of that kind of stuff. I'm just sharing information. So there's my disclaimer. So these are gonna be the most common types of mortgages that you're gonna come across when you're doing a mortgage search. So the first is a fixed rate mortgage, and this is the most common kind of mortgage where the interest rate remains the same throughout the term of the loan. The monthly payments are the same, which can make it much easier to budget. A fixed rate mortgage is a home loan whose interest rate remains the same for the entire term. This means that the monthly payment stays constant, which makes it easier to budget and plan for home ownership expenses. The most common fixed rate mortgage terms are 15 to 30 years. One of the primary benefits of a fixed rate mortgage is that it provides stability and predictability for borrowers. Since the interest rate remains constant, homeowners can budget their payments without worrying about fluctuation in interest rates. Additionally, a fixed rate mortgage can provide security because borrowers know that their monthly payment will not change over time. However, the downside of a fixed rate mortgage is that the interest rate is typically higher than an adjustable rate mortgage at the time of origination. This means that borrowers may end up paying more interest over the life of their loan. Additionally, if interest rates decrease, borrowers with a fixed rate mortgage may miss out on the opportunity to refinance their mortgage at a lower rate. The next is the adjustable rate mortgage. These types of mortgages have an interest rate that can change periodically based on the market index. The initial interest rate is typically lower than, the, than that of a fixed rate, but it can go up and down depending upon market conditions. An adjustable rate mortgage is also known as a variable rate mortgage. It is a type of home loan where the interest rate can change periodically. The initial interest rate is generally lower, as I said before, but it can adjust up and down. The interest on an ARM adjustable rate mortgage is typically based on the financial index, such as the prime rate or the London Interbank offered rate, plus a margin. The margin is a fixed percentage that the lender adds to the interest rate to determine the interest rate for the loan. ARMs usually have an additional uh, initial fixed rate period during which the interest rate remains the same, usually for five, three, or seven years. After the fixed rate period ends, the interest rate can adjust up or down based on the index and the margin, typically on an annual basis. One of the primary advantages of an arm is that the initial interest rate is usually lower than the fixed rate mortgage. This can make home ownership more affordable, particularly in the early years of a loan. However, the downside is that the interest rate can increase over time, which can make monthly payments unpredictable and harder to budget for. Overall, ARMS can be a good option for borrowers who plan to sell or refinance their home before the initial fixed rate period ends or for those who believe that interest rates will decrease in the future. However, borrowers should carefully consider the risk and benefits of an ARM before choosing this type of mortgage. So we saw some problems with this with the last like financial crisis. So you definitely want to think about this option really carefully. The next is an interest only mortgage. And with this type of mortgage, the borrower only pays the interest on the loan for a specified period of time, usually five to 10 years. After that, the borrower will need to make a larger payment to pay off the principal. So this can be interest, will be just interest payment for a certain amount of time, and then you get much heftier payments. The next one is a balloon mortgage. And I've heard, I know we've all like heard this like in television shows and stuff like, the balloon payment is due and all this stuff. Um, and this is the type of mortgage that has lower monthly payments in the beginning and a large lump sum due at the end of the term of the loan. And that can be like everything paid in full after, you know, five years. So definitely think twice about a balloon mortgage. That can be something that maybe would work for some corporate settings, but maybe it's not the best option for a home. The next is a reverse mortgage. This is a type of loan available to homeowners over age 62 where the lender makes payments to the borrower. The loan is paid off when the borrower dies, sells a property, or moves out. The next is an FHA mortgage. This is a type of mortgage insured by the Federal Housing Administration and is typically 
designed for first time home buyers or those with lower credit scores. The down payment is usually lower than that of a conventional mortgage. The next is a VA mortgage, and this type of mortgage is available to veterans, active duty service members, and their families. It's guaranteed by the Department of Veterans Affairs and typically requires no down payment. It's essential to understand the advantages and disadvantages of each type of mortgage, and a good mortgage broker or bank lender will really talk to you about what all of your options are. So make sure you always feel comfortable asking questions of the person who's servicing and setting up your loan, because that's really important. You want to feel safe and secure in such a huge investment. And so you definitely want to feel free and, and feel comfortable asking the questions you have in order to make sure you get the product that works best for you. Thanks for listening to Homes by Demetria and have a great day.